Hello and welcome to Lucky. We're going into the movie round on ghost stories and we'll link below to those episodes later on. But in the meantime, we're just going to share a quick film snack on a short film with a similar theme. Let's have a look at L'Entre Deux, literally the between two or the in between. We're introduced to a woman, June, who calls in a voodoo entity, Baron Samdi, for a specific reason. Baron Samdi in voodoo tradition is the Loa of the dead, usually found in the world of the spirits at the crossroads between life and death. He not only got guides the souls of the dead, but can also restore life if he chooses, having the power to heal. For example, traditionally it was believed a person wasting away under a voodoo curse wouldn't die if the Baron refused to dig their grave. Being the Loa of the dead, the Baron also has some darker powers, including black magic, and it's for this reason that June has sought out his company. June has lost a lover, Saul, and asks the Baron to bring him back to life. The Baron, despite his love for drink and merriment, is wise as a serpent and has moments of compassion. He agrees to do as she asks and makes a deal with her. Saul, says the Baron, has not yet crossed over completely. He's still in the in-between because some remnant of memory is keeping him there. The Baron will give her the ability to bring back Saul. However, the agreement comes with a catch. The only way for June to return with Saul is to restore his, Saul's, memories of her. The power of them will be strong enough to bring him back. However, she must not touch him. If she touches Saul, she'll lose all memories of him. And she must not tell Saul how he died. If he remembers the night of his death, he'll vanish from the in-between. In fact, he'll disappear forever. June agrees and she's sent into a dimly lit world filled with spirits in limbo. She does find Saul and slowly, by talking to him, she does bring back his memory. He remembers who she is and how much he loved her. Suddenly, a bright circle of light shines. It's the barren signal that June and Saul may return. June tells Saul they have to leave now, but Saul, overjoyed at being reunited with June, is carried away with his memories, leading June to make a fateful decision. The rest of the discussion contains spoilers. So if you'd like to skip the spoiler section, you can just click here. Saul does indeed remember June. They spend a night out at the movies and dancing and listening to blues music. However, the last thing Saul remembers is that they decided to take a boat ride together that night. This scene, of course, is the one seen at the start of the film, and that is where Saul died. He was lost in a storm and June was unable to save him. This time she has a chance to save his life, but in order to do that she must touch him. As his life hangs in the balance, she hesitates. What does she do next? And what are the consequences? Of course she saves him, but it's interesting to ponder the ending and to consider which one of them is truly the ghost. Is he haunting her because he's no longer among the land of the living, or is she haunting him because he's alive but she's lost her memories and her love for him forever? How much of love is memory? And if you had to make the choice to save someone's life, but in consequence to lose all memory of them, would you do it? Perhaps you would. And is a memory a blessing or a curse? That's straightforward, but the ending of the story is somewhat ambiguous. Remember the terms of the deal she struck with the Baron. If you touch him, you won't have any memories of him. Don't tell him about his last moment or he'll disappear forever. Those are the terms of the deal. There's no small print with the Baron. In the short film, both of these things happen. This time, June saves Saul from dying in the storm. But in doing this, she has to grab his hand. In saving him, perhaps she did bring him back to life, sacrificing every memory of him, but he'd live. So she notices him on the street, but doesn't know him, leaving him alive, but haunted by memories of her. But perhaps we can interpret this a second way. In saving him from dying, when she had the second chance to save him, perhaps he did disappear forever just as the Baron warned June. In that case, during her brief pause while walking, June doesn't actually see Saul at all. She only feels a momentary frisson of feeling about the presence of something invisible, and somehow, despite the Baron's warnings, half remembered. In effect, a ghost. One of them is haunting the other. But which one is it? Perhaps we can leave that decision up to you. And Baron Samdi. We enjoyed the voice work by all of the leads in this short film and the film was well constructed and neat, so we don't have a particular best scene or standout performance pick. All of them were very good. However, we'd like to note that the music score here was also excellent and complemented the story very well. If you're interested in seeing this short film and want to make your own decision on the ending, you can watch the film right here. There's also a making of video for the film courtesy of the production team, which we'll link to in the info box. Thanks for joining us, and see you in the next episode.